सेकेंड सेक्शन फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम फाइंड द डेरिवेटिव डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फंक्शंस ऑफ द following functions from the first principles first principles first problem x cube see we are asked to find out the derivative of the function using first principles that means or using definition or ab initio that means already in the previous episodes i have clearly discussed how to find out the derivatives of the vari various functions or differential coefficients of various functions by using first principles but moreover in this exercise also so let us revise how to find out the derivative of the given function using first principles for better understanding you are better to once again revisit the previous videos you will get So, some sort of knowledge how to solve the problems using first principles okay let us do it so now suppose let us say f of x is equal to x cube now find f of x plus h f of x plus h that means x is replaced by x plus h now in the place of x write down x plus h now x cube becomes x plus h whole cube now by definition from first principles we can say from the first principles or by definition you can say f dash x or dy by dx both are same symbols is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h this is the formula to evaluate the differential coefficient of the given function using first principles this already we know so now this f dash x becomes f dash x is equal to limit h tends to 0 so let us come to our problem f of x plus h is replaced by x plus h whole cube minus f of x is x cube upon h now the limit can be actually evaluated in two ways the one way is applying a plus b whole cube formula otherwise we can apply the standard formula in limits that is limit x tends to a x to the power of n minus a to the power of n by x minus a which equals to n into a to the power of n minus 1 so better let us write like this so this can be written limit h tends to 0 x plus h whole cube minus x cube and this h can be written x plus h minus x as h approaches to 0 this x plus h approaches to x only now this can be written limit x plus h tends to a x 
x plus h whole cube minus x cube by x plus h minus x. Just observe how does it appear? It is in the form of limit x tends to a x to the power of n minus a to the power of n by x minus a whose value is equal to n into a power n minus 1 am I correct. So, this equal to n means 3 a means x 3 minus 1 which is equal to 3 x square that means derivative of x cube with respect to x is 3 x square. Therefore, d by d x of or d y by d x is equal to 3 x square or d by d x of x cube equal to 3 times x square. 